Hello students, in this video we shall discuss question number 1 and question number 2 of exercise 1.2. Write down a pair of integers whose sum is minus 7. That means we need two integers. A pair means two integers whose sum, when we add these two integers, we must get minus 7. So let's say we put the first integer in this blank plus because it is sum so plus the second integer and that must be equal to minus 7. For these type of questions you can have many answers. There is no fixed answer. So one option could be minus 10 plus 3. If we solve minus 10 plus 3 we would get minus 7 or it could be minus 5 plus minus 2 that would also give you minus 7 minus 5 minus 2 gives you minus 7 so you can have different answers so let's say I take the first one minus 10 and 3 as the answer next one difference is minus 10 difference means minus so blank there's a minus sign blank and it is minus 10 now let's think what number can we put in these blanks so that I get the solution as minus 10. One option could be 10 minus 20. 10 minus 20 is minus 10. Or I can put minus 6 minus 4 equals to minus 10. So let's take the first option 10 comma 20. 10 minus 20 is minus 10. Next one is sum is 0. So we have to add 2 integers so that the sum is 0. Now for this question, you can take any number and add the opposite number of that. That means adding the number and its additive inverse. For example, if I take 5, it would be minus 5. If I take minus 10 plus 10 is 0 or 3 plus minus 3 is 0. So let's see the next one. Write a pair of negative integers whose difference gives 8. So pair of integers, let's say this is the first integer and it's a negative integer minus, difference means minus, again a negative integer and that gives 8. So the options could be minus 10, 18, when you solve this, you would get minus minus plus 18 equals to 8. Or we can take minus 1 minus minus 9. So that would be minus 1 plus 9, which is 8. So you can have different answers for this. So let me take the first one, minus 10 and minus 18. The next one is write a negative integer and a positive integer whose sum is minus 5. So we have a negative integer and a positive integer whose sum, so plus, is minus 5. Minus 6 plus 1, because minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5. Or I can take minus 10 plus, so this would be the negative integer, positive integer, that is minus 5. You can have many options again. So I'll take the first one, minus 6 and 1. Next one is write a negative integer. So negative integer and a positive integer, a positive integer whose difference, that means minus, difference is minus 3. So we need a negative integer and a positive integer whose difference is minus 3. The answer could be minus 1, 2. Solve it and see. Minus 1 minus 2 equals to minus 3 because minus and plus would become minus. So minus 1 minus 2 equals to minus 3. So the answer for this would be minus 1 comma 2. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you.